This is the Ace Magic Mini Gaming PC Disassembly. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. Also, if you need any tools, there are links in the description. So this specific model is equipped with an AMD Ryzen 7 5800U with 16GB of DDR4 RAM. It has a 512GB SSD and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are also built in. Taking a look at the back, there's a USB-C power port, two LAN ports, one of which is 1 gigabit and the second being 2.5 gigabit, an HDMI and display port, as well as two USB 2.0 ports. On the side, there's an auxiliary port, two USB 3.0 ports, a Type-C port, and a microphone. What makes this type of computer useful is the portability. It's small, compact, and packs a punch, so you can easily take it with you anywhere, plug it in, and you're ready to go. This would be good for gaming, video editing, or anything else you need to do. With that being said, let's go ahead and take this apart and see the inside. To start, we'll flip it over so we can see the bottom. On the bottom, there are four Phillips screws which need to be removed, which also have rubber mounts around them that function as stands. Now, the RAM has to be removed. To remove the SSD or storage, there's a single Phillips screw which is holding it down. There's also a single Phillips screw which is holding down the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth module. The coaxial cables can be disconnected by just popping them off. Here's a better look at the two RAM sticks. The brand is Lexar and they're each 8GB. As for the SSD or storage, it's also by Lexar and the capacity is 512GB and this is M.2 PCIe Gen 3x4. And here's the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth module. Now the power switch cable needs to be disconnected from the board. To remove the board from the housing, it needs to be lifted up from the back towards the front. Taking a look at what's left in the housing, we see the coaxial cables for the Wi-Fi antenna, as well as the cable for the power button and the LED. Here's a better look at the motherboard setup. This is the BIOS battery, which is adhered with some adhesive or double tape to the back of the LAN port. There's also some film or tape over here, which is for electromagnetic interference. On the other side, we see the fan assembly, as well as the heatsink. To remove the fan assembly, two Phillips screws need to be removed, the black tape has to be peeled off, and the power cable needs to be disconnected from the board. And here's a better look at the fan assembly. In order to remove the heatsink assembly, we need to flip it over on the other side again and remove the four Phillips screws. Now you could remove the four Phillips screws on this side and separate the fan and heatsink assembly together so you don't actually have to separate the fan from the heatsink assembly, but I'm just showing you anyways. So here we have the processor, and here's a look at the heatsink assembly with this copper plate, as well as the copper heat pipe.
Here's a closer look at the processor with some of the thermal paste cleaned off. Overall, it's fairly easy to take this apart and any sort of repairs or part replacements should be a breeze with this computer. Now it's time to put it back together. Once everything's back together, you can flip it over and it's ready to use. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.